Okay, recently while cleaning out my Proton Mail spam email box, I came across this. I don't know if it's new, but I don't remember seeing it before. And now that I know what it is, I don't know how I lived so long without it. But anyway, I've already set it up on my uh, on, under um, Internet Explorer or Internet Edge, whatever they're calling it now. <clears throat> I'm going to try to do it here. On uh, <clears throat> I'm on my I'm on Chrome now. So. Let's see what happens when I do this uh, tutorial walkthrough demonstration on how to set this up. And I apologize in advance. I'm here in Thailand. I got the doors and windows open because it's warm and um, there is background noise from outside and inside because people are doing their daily thing here. Okay, so click on that. Hide your email with simple login by Proton. Now, this is uh, free. Uh, there is an upgraded version. I haven't looked at that at all, but this is free to do. So simple login provides a simple way to create logins at untrusted third party sites where you don't want to expose your actual email address. <clears throat> so those places where you actually would go and um, to retrieve more information instead of giving them the email address that your friends and family have, you would get a alias email address to put in there and it would come to your regular email address. I didn't know how that exactly worked, but when I did it the first time, I went ahead and sent it and put my email address in thinking that it was going to send me an alias to that email address while nothing happened. But then when I clicked, and I'll show you later exactly what I did, uh, then I guess because I'm logged into my Proton email address, it automatically came there when I did it the correct way. So let's just go through with this so it's not a really long video. <clears throat> So you get the extension. One of the things that baffles me is the name, simple login, receive and send emails anonymously. Well, it's kind of an odd name for what they actually do, but I guess they're just looking for a way to have a short name. I don't know. Okay, so click here to add to Chrome. Uh, add simple login, receive, send emails anonymously. So uh, it can read and change your all of your data on your website. I guess that's what it's telling you. Okay, so do that. It's downloaded and so there we have it. Quickly create an alias every time you need to send an email. So here we go. So I'm going to go and see what I did before was I put my actual email address in here and then I click send me an email thinking because there's not a lot of information right here. So thinking that they would send me a, an alias email, I did that and waited and nothing happened. But when you click here, um, I don't know where you find this or just click here. So anyway, I clicked here and look it, it created that. And then I clicked on here, send me an email. And this is what happened. An email has been sent to your alias. So I'm going to go back over here to uh, my Proton Mail. And I see that it has not been sent here yet. Oh, it has been right here. It said nine before, so that's why I was surprised it still says nine. <clears throat> okay, so there it is. <clears throat> this email is sent to that email address, okay? Now, uh, this is just, just what it says here is, this is just a test to make sure that you receive and sent your simple login dot, you know, the alias email. And then what I did previously was I clicked here. Do you have any questions? And I did at that point, I did have questions and I clicked on that and I got uh, an auto reply using, again, if you click on this, you can click on it, but I, you don't really have to unless you have questions. But there, the questions that I actually had, what I put in there, got answered after I went back over here. 
Okay, so when I clicked on this, it brought up this page. But I didn't, this is if you want to ask a question. But here's where you get your questions answered. Click on this question mark right here, and it brings this up, okay? Seems like this is your first time here. Let's walk through some simple login features together. You can always show this tutorial again anytime by clicking on that question mark like I did. So the next one is down here. Number two, this is your alias, your first alias. Email sent to an alias are forwarded to your real email address. All right. Number three, toggle that switch off by disabling an alias. Email sent to this alias will not be forwarded to your inbox. Okay. So again, if you turn that off, you're disabling the alias. Email sent to this alias will not be forwarded to your inbox. Now, number four, this is the contacts. So let's say that, uh, so not, I'll read this and then I'll explain it to the way I understand it. Not only can an alias receive emails, it can send emails too. You can add the new contact for your alias here. So let's, so, so, I'm I'm guessing you're all getting this pretty. I'm I'm usually slow to the uh, to the game on everything. So there's probably a lot of people already using this, but this is the way this plays out. Okay, in my mind, you want to send an email to somebody, but you don't want them to see your actual real email address. You use the, the alias that you set up. You send that, and their reply will come to you in your real email address okay great that's what you want now if you want to continue to receive emails from them without giving them your actual email address you just add them here and every email they send you after that will come there to your real email address you can stop receiving emails from them by toggling off that other previous um Number three, this is number four. So if you need to reply to an email, just hit reply and respond. This response will come from your alias and your real email address stays hidden. That's exactly what you want. Okay, so we're done there. All right, so again, that would be, I found this by, if I click back over here. Okay, so this is where I created the, This you saw this page where I, clicked here to get the alias, all right? And then to get to that other page that you just saw, I went for advanced options, please use our web dashboard. That's how I got to here. That's where you get to here. Okay, I hope that uh, helps. Okay, it turns out that you can change the email address uh, that you want the alias to send your emails to. If you don't have Proton Mail. You can still use Outlook or Gmail or possibly any other provider, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, all you need to do is uh, whatever email address you want to use, put it in this box and then click to change. There are a few other uh, options you can do here. That's down here. You can hide your email subject, things like that. I don't know why you'd want to do that. And there are advanced options. So that's the tutorial on the free version which is what I have, and I'm not an affiliate, so there's no benefit for me if there's any link for you to click on in the description below for it. Just feel free to do it because it doesn't benefit me any way, shape, or form. It's just something I wanted to share with people because I'm actually surprised I didn't even know about this until now, and I'm sure there's a lot of people already using it. Anyway, I appreciate your support to the channel. So if you uh, click over here, there's probably a video that YouTube is actually promoting and over here there's a video that I'm promoting and down here is the uh, logo and I also uh, the video that I'm promoting is actually I'm wanting people to pick the logo for me there's 10 options in the video that's in here to, to put a logo here all right thanks for your time I appreciate it